feel free to stick around to the end of the video to see some of the installation photos and um, some more details. But after I got the suspension installed, I wanted to pick a good place to test out the suspension. Could think of no better place than Padre Island National Seashore. Uh, the park entrance is near Corpus Christi, but it has about 60 miles of drivable beach. Um, mixture of soft, deep sand and hard pack that's wet. Um, high tide and low tide will have very unique challenges. Um, washboards are pretty fun. You can also camp there and have campfires uh, with really no one around you because you have so much space between you and any other uh, guests at the park. This footage was taken around mile marker 15. It's either slightly before or slightly after. If anyone's been down this path, uh, please feel free to comment below. This is a path pretty jarry. There's a lot of ruts from people driving when the conditions weren't ideal. A lot of water probably um, not using the proper equipment, but uh, I think a lot of people try to make it through here anyway because of the good fishing it seems like. This was a relatively good test for just getting the suspension to articulate. FOX DSC stands for dual speed compression, meaning that you can independently control the valving in high speed compression and low speed compression. And these adjustments are done with the knobs on the external reservoir, which are relatively easy to access. Throughout all these videos, I have the high speed needle adjusted to 5 from the softest setting and the low speed needle at 4 from the softest setting. Let me elaborate a little bit more about the suspension setup since that's why you're here. The Fox coilovers when advertised with the additional inch of travel require an aftermarket upper control arm. There just isn't enough uh, movement left by using the factory upper ball joint. So I opted for the Camberg upper control arms. There's a lot of other aftermarket vendors such as uh, Total Chaos, Icon Dynamics, and a quite a few others. But I just opted for Camberg because they, they're a household name and they're well known. I did, however, get a part from Total Chaos that wasn't available from Camberg and that was a gusset for the spindle and you'll see that later on in some of the photos. Just a couple of observations about the suspension so far. The coilovers really help keep things flat. I do have Fox Shocks external reservoirs also in the rear um, and that all accents the sway bar pretty well. Uh, the external reservoirs were just to help keep things cool but even when I was going pretty quickly in those beginning shots those external reservoirs were extremely cool and the bodies of the shocks even more so. Despite saving quite a bit of money by doing the labor myself including welding the gusset onto the spindle the suspension in the front probably set me back around three thousand bucks Although that doesn't really bother me considering I'm a big proponent of doing things right the first time. That means not getting an intermediate or less expensive suspension set up just to be unhappy and settling. Overall I'm really happy with the way all of it turned out. Still waiting on getting some rear springs from Deaver to help um, the extra weight that I plan on loading the truck with for overlanding. Um, so let's move on to the installation. Here's a photo of what I started out with. The front brakes might look a little large and you would be right, those are 06 Tundra brakes specifically that I installed, but you can look at my website for more details on that job. This part is pretty self-explanatory, just the rotor and caliper moved along with the upper ball joint pressed out. The upper control arm bolt on the driver's side can only be accessed when you move the main wiring harness loom here from the inner fender well as well as the airbag sensor which is that yellow wiring loom. Apologies for the bad photo as you can't see the 
airbag sensor that's in the way here, but you'll have to remove that from the fender well and move this AC line temporarily to get the main control arm bolt on the passenger side. I used an OTC ball joint tool to remove the old ball joints and press in the new adapters that are used with the uniball that are inside of the Camberg upper control arms. This is my first mock-up with the upper control arms installed with their appropriate adapter and the spindle. These Total Chaos spindle gussets were a pretty good value. I paid about 40 bucks shipped. They're pretty solidly built. They fit very well and I was able to MIG them on with my 110 volt Lincoln and get really good penetration. I was really pleasantly surprised by the fact that the finish turned out pretty good. I'm quite impatient when it comes to prepping and doing very light coats. I typically do very heavy coats and effort to pass along that step very quickly which leads to poor quality and runs but this time it turned out pretty well. Anyways I really appreciate you guys watching the video. I hope it was helpful and uh, please if it did go check out my website quattrostig.com and subscribe. I'll leave you guys off with some more video of me driving on the beach.